Good morning. It's Monday, February 3rd, 2020. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Vow of Love, and our scripture is Ruth, chapter 1. In the days when the judges ruled in Israel, a severe famine came upon the land. So a man from Bethlehem in Judah left his home and went to live in the country of Moab, taking his wife and two sons with him. The man's name was Elimelech, and his wife was Naomi. Their two sons were Malon and Kilian. They were Ephrathites from Bethlehem in the land of Judah. And when they reached Moab, they settled there. Then Elimelech died, and Naomi was left with her two sons. The two sons married Moabite women. One married a woman named Orpah, and the other a woman named Ruth. But about ten years later, both Malon and Kilian died. This left Naomi alone without her two sons or her husband. Then Naomi heard in Moab that the Lord had blessed his people in Judah by giving them good crops again. So Naomi and her daughters-in-law got ready to leave Moab to return to her homeland. With her two daughters-in-law, she set out from the place where she had been living, and they took the road that would lead them back to Judah. But on the way, Naomi said to her two daughters-in-law, Go back to your mother's homes, and may the Lord reward you for the kindness to your husbands and to me. May the Lord bless you with the security of another marriage. Then she kissed them goodbye, and they all broke down and wept. No, they said, we want to go with you to your people. But Naomi replied, why should you go on with me? Can I still give birth to other sons who could grow up to be your husbands? No, my daughters, return to your parents' homes, for I am too old to marry again. And even if it were possible, and I were to get married tonight and bear sons, then what? Would you wait for them to grow up and refuse to marry someone else? No, of course not, my daughters. Things are far more bitter for me than for you, because the Lord himself has raised his fist against me. And again they wept together, and Orpah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye. But Ruth clung tightly to Naomi. Look, Naomi said to her, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and to her gods. You should do the same. But Ruth replied, don't ask me to leave you and turn back. Wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God. Wherever you die, I will die and there I will be buried. May the Lord punish me severely if I allow anything but death to separate us. When Naomi saw that Ruth was determined to go with her, she said nothing more. At many of the weddings I have been privileged to officiate, the wedding candle has been used to help represent the official moment of establishing a home. Along with the bride's and groom's candles flanking the center unity candle and rings and vows, These are symbols of two lives bringing their commitment to form a new union in holy matrimony. Along with the visual drama, as the bride and groom bring their candles flames to light the center candle, they also recite the familiar words of kindness spoken to Naomi by Ruth, words filled with the commitments of life one person, unselfishly loving, can offer to another. I will go with you, stay with you, worship with you, and even die with you. These are words, by the way, spoken by a descendant of Ruth's some generations later. The words of Jesus of Nazareth to his friends in an upper room on the night he would be arrested, tried, and killed for their and our sins. John 15:13. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. For you today, isn't it amazing how the tragedy of one woman losing her husband, her sons, and being forced into homeless migration just to survive can foreshadow the blessing of God on the whole of humanity just a few years down the road? Ruth and Naomi did not live on this earth long enough to see the fulfillment of what their lives enacted on that day. However, by faith... Their trust in God was sealed in heaven. So is yours. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.